Hey YouTube, if you're here, you're looking for some great lead teams. If you're a longtime subscriber, hit the like button and thank you for watching and goodbye because I'm going over the top teams from the past week that I've used. Uh, so you've probably seen them all. If you're new to this channel, uh, we're gonna go through my t top teams for the past week. Uh, and before we do that, quick overview of the meta, cause I just mentioned this in a video that's actually gonna go up tomorrow with Swampert. Um, are you Shadow Swampert? As you can see, rank 10 there. Um, but in the video, I actually mentioned that this meta is both the most wide open it's been in a while, while also being the most limited and boring it's been in a while. So what do I mean by that? I mean that with the buffs to a bunch of Pokemon, you're you have more, I think, options than you did than you have in the past, right? Like, so for Alligator, definitely new and up there. Skarmory has made a comeback and is on everywhere, every team now. Um you know, Empoleon at 24 got buffed. You can go down to stuff in like the, the like 48, 49, like Trevenant is making a bit of a comeback now because of the way the meta is so water dominated. Dragonair, dragons are pretty good because of how water dominated it is. Um, Umbreon is back as I think as a great safe swap because of some of the Pokemon you're seeing. Um, so from that perspective, it's just like, it seems like, yes, there are a lot of options to use this season. However, despite there being a lot of options, and yes, seen a lot of options, there's like seven Pokemon. Seven Pokemon in my six, seven Pokemon dominating this meta, in my opinion. Annihilate, Lickitung, Quagsire, Lantern, Skarmory, and Whizcash, wherever those two are on this list. Yeah, there's your there's your seven. Um, Annihilate is the, has replaced all the fighters as the best fighter. The Mud Boys, Quagsire, and Whizcash have replaced Swampert and are basically roaming free. Skarmory with the Steel Wing has become the best Steel Pokemon in the meta. Lantern, as your answer to Skarmory, um, is everywhere and pretty much not a lot of, not again, Tremnant has been a bit of a comeback, uh, but not a lot running around. Um, and then what I say, I said the Mud Boys. Uh, Lantern, Skarmory, I forget what else I said. But that's basically that's basically the meta. Um, and you're even going to see some on these like seven teams that I'm going to go over, it's a lot of those Pokemon. And, and that's kind of the unfortunate part. It has... And it's... It, I think it's because... I think it's because... Well, I think it's because water's so overrepresented right now. I go over this in pretty much every single video. Like, look at the top water Pokemon ranked. For Alligator, Quagsire, Swampert, Lantern, Azumarill, Mantine, Whizcash, Napoleon, Pelipper, Poliwrath, like, um, Toxpex, you have, like, 20 water Pokemon in the top 40. And when you do that, when you do that, and still, despite having 20 water Pokemon in top 40 and you still only have two usable grass pokemon to keep them in check um and so then lantern gets to roam a little more free and it's directing into skarmory but skarmory is such a wall to so many things like it just really really shrinks the meta like registeels ranked number one i think i've seen like two registeels the entire this season of gbl even though it's ranked one Cresselia, same thing. Cresselia is ranked number three overall. Um, I see a bit more of those. I see, I've seen like probably like 10 to 15. Carbink, I've seen like one, um, even though it's ranked number four. And it's, again, Peepoke is a, is a guide, doesn't accurately represent, but the reason you're not seeing Registeels and the reason you're not seeing Carbink is be, why would you see them when, when Mud Boys are literally everywhere? When Quagsire and Wizcash are running the meta? You wouldn't because you're going to get killed by them. So you're not seeing Registeel. You're not seeing Carbink. Um, you're not. You're seeing some Bastidon. There's still that freaking, I hate that, Bastidon, uh, Wigglytuff, Shadow Vic line. That's still there, unfortunately. Um, but again, Shadow Vic and, and Wigglytuff can kind of deal with the Mud Boys. So, yeah. It's been kind of a frustrating meta, but... It is what it is. We gotta we gotta play within what the bounds of what we what we got this season. So let's start with a team you're gonna see tomorrow, um, tomorrow afternoon, because I'm gonna do a master premiere. I did a master premiere analysis this morning. I will do a master premiere tomorrow morning, and then this team will be tomorrow afternoon. 
Swampert, Sableye, Skarmory. Do I need to explain this team? This is probably one of the oldest teams in GBL. Um, Swampert, only weak to grass. Skarmory is going to kill the grass. Sableye is your safe swap. Um, you see uh, grass, or you see maybe like a dragon, or you see uh, like a fly, flying water like Mantine or Pelper. You get into Sableye. Anything else, you stay in with Swampert, because Swampert is just super spammy with Hydro Cannons. Um, so very, very straightforward how to use this team. And it's it's been like strong since day one. Um, on PV Poke, if you watch this video, you can go to train and under train, it has top performers and it gives you team ideas. And this was the number two ranked team on PV Poke. Ninetales, they use regular Ninetales. So they do use regular Ninetales as the number two. I used uh, shadow because if you're going to use a charm Ninetales, I feel like you should just use the shadow, but theirs was Ninetales, Lantern, Lickitung. With the Charm Ninetales, you do kind of have a double grass issue because if it's like a grass poison like uh, Vic uh, or Venusaur, they will resist the Charm and then beat Lantern. So, uh, But otherwise, it's kind of just like Charm will do great against most except for Steels and then Lickitung and Lantern can combo Steels. So again, the team worked decently well there. Um, and again, here comes Lantern again. Uh, Dugong has risen. I didn't even talk about Dugong. Dugong is rising up in the rankings uh, a lot because, again, it's a pretty good answer to the Mud Boys because you resist the Skulls and stuff. Although Quagsire has Stone Edge, so it's not super as straightforward there. Uh, but Dugong, Lantern, Medi. Um, I, I, I feel like there's only three really viable counter users in this meta. Annihilate is number one. And I think it is it is the best counter user in this meta right now, just given its coverage with Shadow Ball. I think Medi and Polyrath I would put as two A and two B. There, I think they're interchangeable. So Medi's still strong. It still has all those all, everything that made it strong before. It still has, except for now it just needs to deal with a few more um, things that can wall it, like uh, Annihilate. Like Annihilate will, unless you're running Psychic on it. I'm running Dynamic Punch. Unless you're running Psychic, like, Annihilate's just going to beat you with the Shadow Balls. Um, and then you're weak to flying, so cover your flying weakness with Lantern and Dugong. Right? Three bulky, strong Pokemon in this meta. Um, for Alligator and Annihilate, Skarmory. Again, Skarmory's back on the board because it just walls so much as a Steel Flyer. It's a very unique typing. There's your Annihilate as one of your best fighters in this league. And then for Alligator, because it is extremely, extremely spammy and hard-hitting. Note, with this team, double weak to Electric. There's not a ton of Electric in the Great League outside of Lantern. And Lantern will cause you big problems. So if you're seeing a lot of Lantern, which I said is one of the seven Pokemon you'll see a lot of, probably don't use this team. Um, if I were to replace one on this team, I would replace for Alligator. Just because I think Annihilate... Feraligator is actually kind of like the outcast on this team, if you think about it, because Skarmory and Annihilate, with their unique typings, have a lot of just like resistances that you kind of play into, and then they both have like decent bulk, where Feraligator has like one typing, lots of weaknesses associated with just water, and is a glass cannon. So if you if you want to run that sort of off balance team, you can replace Feraligator with like another sort of like glass cannony type th Pokemon, or you can just run like a third balance Pokemon, and that would work just as well. Um, speaking about, I'm pretty sure I called this team like all safe team, Whiskash, Umbra, and Gligar, and it's basically that. They're all bulky. They can all spam a ton. Like obviously they have like Whiskash is not gonna have anything to throw against like Grass Pokemon, so it's not like a safe team like over, from that perspective. But it's a safe team in the fact that they're all meta Pokemon. They've all got bulk. They're all spammy. They all have versatility. Um, they can all theoretically act as like safe swaps. So this team is like pretty safe. It gives you a lot of flexibility to work around some matchups in what you'll be seeing in the Great League. Charge about Glade Gligar. Again, Gligar has been, I put it on like the list as like the ninth or 10th Pokemon you're going to see a lot just because it is pretty safe um, in this meta. Uh, Glade, speaking about a Pokemon that got a boost, I haven't seen... It's interesting because when I've used Gallade both, I've used Gallade on a couple teams now, 
And both times I've used it, I'm like, this Pokemon is awesome. It charges so fast. You get to Leaf Blade in like th three or four Psycho Cuts and Close Combat in five and just like your blast and stuff. Um, I haven't seen it a ton outside of like when everyone was using it at first. I still think it's very strong, um, but it's so, so glassy. So yeah, Charger Bug is bulky enough to deal with that. Plus you're going to be Glade who's weak to Flyer. So Charger Bug should deal with most of that except for... Gligar itself, so you gotta have the mirror match in the back. Or if you want, get it like a really, really hard answer to um, to that in the back. If this one looks familiar, it's sort of the same one that you're gonna see tomorrow with Swampert, Skarmory. Same idea. Whiskash, Sableye, Toby tomorrow. Um, again, Whiskash I think is better than Swampert in this current meta. And Togi tomorrow is great because I'm amazing with it. <laughs> so that's why I use that. Um, if you want to see how to use Togi tomorrow, go watch one of my videos on Togi tomorrow because you will see how I can just run teams with this Pokemon. Um, but again, it's just one of those that I'm just very, very comfortable with. Actually, this is that's exactly what I call this team. I call this team, not only does the team make sense from a perspective of balanced again whiskash weak to grass talking about is not an answer for grass but it's a pretty good answer for grass as a steal um, and wild charge will two shot pretty much any grass in this meta um, i call this team team comfort because i am very 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 comfortable using all three of these pokemon and i talk about in that video how comfort actually plays a huge role in how successful you are as a team and why it's, it's funny. And what I'm going to say here is basically going to contradict why you're on this video. You are on this video because it has the best Great League teams. What I'm going to say to you is you will never use my best team as good as I can use it because I'm more comfortable with it than you. And that's kind of what I go over in this video. What I went over in, in this team was I will have a great success with this team that you may not have because I jokingly sort of not jokingly saying i'm one of the best talking to my players in the world because i play with it constantly and not a lot of people do uh, so that when you're whether you use any of my teams or kind of mix and match your own just make sure you have comfort with the pokemon that you're using because you need that comfort to actually be successful you can't just blindly copy a content creator's team thinking you're going to have great success with it because they did unless you like know how to use it and are comfortable with the Pokemon. So that's all I will say on just like comfort levels when you're going to choose a team. Um, so yeah, that's it. Like I said, you in my other video, I mentioned you have two Great League teams coming. Um, one Saturday afternoon, one Sunday afternoon. We'll have a Match League Premier team coming Saturday morning and Sunday morning. Um, and then I'll probably even them out. But I think I'm going to focus on Master Premier most of this week because it's the first time it's been around in a while. So if you want team ideas for that, check out the video this morning. So that is it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.